Hey guys, it's me, Frozen Lua, and it's been a long time, and everybody hates me because it's been so long, but, uh, the Lua tutorial series is still gonna happen, the difference being it's not gonna be a game mode. Uh, I don't want to do it, so it's not gonna happen, but there's also a reason, um, the, the actual reason being, uh, it is a little ambitious for a beginner even following a tutorial series to code a full-fledged game mode so we're gonna start with easier stuff uh, and go through tutorial series and basically uh, the previous videos if you'll notice are very uh, formal I'll say and uh, uh, I guess professional compared to what I'm doing right now uh, basically what I did was I would record and then I would talk, or uh, commentate, dictate, narrate, whatever you want to call it, after the recording. So I had a whole bunch of time to think about what I wanted to do, and it would just be there for me to just talk, whatever I want to say. Uh, the thing is, it was easy to do that for very, very simple stuff, like the things I did for the first, I think, six videos. But for a long project, I think it's better and we'll see if this is actually better or not uh... we're gonna try it out it's better to do it the way i'm doing right now which is just like it's just all live i'm just talking as i'm just typing and whatever and a thing that i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to start the project do some commentary then code some bits and then do it in sort of an update fashion where i'll start recording and then start talking about what i did explain the code explain what it does rather than have this long drawn out session of just speeded up typing even if it is sped up or whatever and me commentating post production post record after the fact in uh, Sony Vegas so what I'm doing right now is just you know live commentary talking as I do everything um, but what I was saying about the game mode uh, it is a lot more difficult to do that especially with the post recording commentary because of how complex each one would become I mean the very simple stuff it was very very easy to narrate exactly what was going on but for complex stuff that's not really uh, practical it's not it would take way too much time for me to do that and uh, so we're gonna do something else we're gonna do client-side scripts uh, this is probably the best thing for the beginning Lua coder to do and regardless of whether or not you want to use them in servers that's your deal you can make that decision yourself I don't need to give you a life lecture I'm talking about things like ESP uh, aimbots wall hacks whatever you want to call them uh, they're very most of them I'm not gonna go out and say every ESP is completely simple but ESPs generally are but like wall hacks and aimbots can get more complex but uh, the easiest thing for the beginning lure coder to make is an ESP uh, at least it was for me that's uh, what I started with uh, because huh, huh, I used one and I didn't like it uh, it didn't have enough features for me the text was just pure white and it was boring, bland, it was hard to see against the light background. So the first thing I actually did, the first Lua thing I ever did in my life, was I wanted to change it so that instead of just being pure white, I wanted to make the text have an outline. So I searched the wiki and whatever. I think it took me like 15 minutes just to change a simple function from draw.drawText to draw.simpleTextOutlined. But uh, that was the first thing I ever did, and then I just added features to it from there. So that's basically more or less what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're just going to be uh, coding whatever I want, basically, and I will explain as I go. I'll do other videos as well. It's not going to be nearly as formal as it was, but the tutorials will exist, and they will be there, and hopefully you guys like it. Uh, if you don't, let me know. I'll take it into consideration, definitely. This is not a sentence don't think but do know this if I have to go back to the other way of doing it the tutorials will be much less frequent much less uh, uh, flowy because 
they are a lot harder to make that way. But anyway, the fr we're gonna do something. Yeah, I, I promise. It's been like five minutes, and it, all I've said is nothing. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do an ESP. We're gonna do an ESP. That's all we're gonna do today. Uh, so th I've created a client side file in Lua Autorun client and named it client side stuff. It doesn't really matter. Just name it whatever you want. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna make a convar. And to create a client convar, it's exactly that. Create client. Oh, by the way, I'm using Sublime Text 2, uh, which is uh, different, but it's also the same as Notepad++. So if you are using a, if you're using Notepad++, it'll work just the same. Obviously, they're both text editors, but I like this one better. Uh, so anyway, we're going to create a client convar default value of zero saves and does not send to the server. And now we're going to create our ESP function. I'll name it accordingly because it is going to be completely shit. And we're going to hook into HUD Paint as with any ESP. I have not seen one that does not. And call it. Alright, so now basic ESP. First of all, we're going to. Fuck. There we go. Have a conditional if the uh, boolean of the convar shitty SP is not evaluating true, then it's not going to do what I am going to tell it to do. Obviously, it's pretty obvious stuff. Uh, basically, zero or anything else. So, first thing we want to do is quickly loop through all the players and then put their names in their head if it's not the local player this is uh, something a lot of beginners like even forget to do and I actually forgot to do this the last time I <laughs> fucking did this but so we're gonna make sure that the current player in the loop is not the local player ie me and then if it is not we're going to draw some text above his head First, we need to get that position. So, I'll do get shoot pass. I'll add really quickly. I'll add like uh, 30. Sure, why not? And then get the two screen to value. So now, we're gonna draw his nick in default font. At pos.x and y in pure blinding white centered. That sounds like fun. So I uh, loaded up a multiplayer listen server already. Let's just open up our. Uh, Fun's had stuff. Blam. Alright, so now let's make a bot. That's my current ESP. Okay. So let's get shitty SP on, and it works, obviously. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It taught you nothing that you already didn't know, but this is more or less to demonstrate the uh, format, I guess I'll say, of how these are supposed to are are going to go. Um, I hope you like it. If you don't, sorry. Uh, do tell me though, and I'll take it into consideration. But remember what I said: if I go back to the other way, they will be less frequent. Uh, but they will be—I uh, guess I'll say better quality. I do like this way better, just uh, as far as doing it goes. Uh, it's a lot easier to manage this way because everything's all just sort of in one file. It's all just there. I don't have to really do anything. And we'll be continuing our client side escapade later. Bye!